I can see it now. Sunday's recap video. People, I apologize for picking against best play. Yeah, I know that going into the summer stakes, his barn over the past two years was an alarming one for 29 with second time starters. But still, best play had shown so much promise in his debut. You think you know gaps? That was a gap that he closed first time out. And he's by Spitestown. Don't get me started on Spitestown. Breeders Cup glory. His offspring do this, that, blah, blah, Spitestown. Blah. That soliloquies for Sunday after best play wins the summer stakes. But until then, I can't pick a horse with such a raging stat in his disfavor. I am on a gelding named the B's and E's. He rebroke. He kicked off in mid-stretch last time, a good sign he can, he, that he can get a mile. The problem is that there are other speeds in this race. He could be enveloped by the quarter pole, but I know I'm getting good value. Big Brown's undefeated second time starters in this race. He's going to take money. Best play. <laughs> what gets me about this race is that there are two or three horses I would love to bet back, but they're all running against each other. A horse like I'm bound to score, perfectly named. This guy ran really well in Mammoth in the Tyro. He didn't break, he rushed up, he sustained, he kept going, but that was five furlongs. A mile, uh, I don't know what to do with him. I'm going to use him, but not in my fantasy capping wager. I'll see you Sunday, and you know what the recap will be. Stand clear of the